What's up guys, welcome to part two of episode five and let's get to it. So we're currently gonna go after Selena Kyle, which uh, she stole some uh, skeleton key, if you don't remember from last episode. Damn it. Hey Bruce, I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least. You should know by now not to underestimate me. I thought you might be busy with, I don't know, saving the world. I'm flattered I rank so highly. But I know you're not here for me, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham. But the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? Uh, because so it's much mine? Potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Enough games, Selina. Hand it over. Now. <sighs> you just have no imagination, do you? Catch. It's clear you're not gonna be any fun. And I'm not in the mood for a fight. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, Scourge of Gotham. From the moment we met, I knew I couldn't trust you. And yet, you did, or we wouldn't be here right now. But I can see the magic's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you, hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but, but think of the fun. Gotham needs me, and I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My you copy of the did. Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Harvey was out of control, and he wanted to destroy Gotham, if you did the same. And yes, I'd put you behind bars in a heartbeat. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. Well, you're not really leaving me with much of a choice. <laughs> oh, please. You weren't even trying to see things from my perspective. You're stuck in your close-minded, one-town world. I need you to understand something. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You fought by my side. And together we saved a lot of lives. We're a good team, Selena. You had to know that wouldn't last. But it was nice. Maybe we can win her well, back. Did. You know, after I found out you were Batman, 
I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. Well, it's been fun. You stay out of trouble. Because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. <laughs> I look forward to our next dance. This seems very, very fishy. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Damn it, we gotta go back to the manor. Teleportation. Alfred! Just keep messing this place up. I just had to repaint it. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Well, there's a lot of things going on here. Let's see, uh, scuff mark. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Well, maybe the furniture. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Okay, so we got the ash, the broken. Can we look at that? Yeah, we can. How the hell... Well, let's link that to the fireplace. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Okay, that makes sense. We got one. A couple more to go. That busted vase probably hit that Face was knocked wall. over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. It's not gonna work. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. I wonder if it's the pull cue. If we can link that together. Alfred used the pull cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Nice one. Locks been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. I was gonna say maybe that's the way we got the scuff marks on the floor. But the only thing we can link it to is that bookshelf. 
So let's try that and hopefully that works. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Dang. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. She's up to. Maybe Alfred has a dark past. But that still doesn't give her the right. It's actually a really huge cave. You should be rotting in a padded cell. Now your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry, you'll get him back eventually. Peace, my bloody peace. No. Alfred! Oh my god. Vicky will pay for this. I'll make sure of that. Look at what she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Come on, it's Asa. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the bat computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Come on. Okay, so this is just pretty much media that's been happening throughout the episodes. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Oh yeah, I'm Batman. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. Basement. In the basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. That could be a thousand. What else is here? Give me another clue. 
Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Let's go, let's go. Bus stop. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Year built. You can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. Corner store. Seems unlikely. Alley. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. Bingo. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. What is that? Something I almost now, did. That's what I'm talking about. Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Bad suit well mark You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. This ends tonight. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It's about time we upgraded our suit. Heading into the basement. Be careful. I'm all right. She moved There's location. No, no Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Vales have a false wall in their basement? Let's kick it. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. There's a small room. 
with a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! Throw the ladder down. Don't just jump, Batman. I'm going inside. Where they kept her. Holy crap. Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky, she was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? It's why she killed the Vales. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Vales' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. The glasses on the floor, Batman. Glasses. One piece apart from the others. Yellow. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... An arrow. Pointing to a building. Arkham. Alfred has highlighted three words. Shall be unleashed. He left me a message using this chalk, but there must be more to it. He left me a message using this chalk, but there must be more to it. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. Alfred is highlighted. Shall be unleashed. And he's pointing me to her drawing of Arkham. Sounds like something out of a fire and brimstone sermon. That's exactly what it is. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon in the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. And we didn't examine that doll. Everything 
good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Sneak attack. Batman. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself. His suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen where the Bales kept you. People like them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong. Your time's run out. It's pretty strong. <laughs> Gotta take her out. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. Pretty sure all the doors are gonna open right now. Bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out of He's the crazy one! That was pretty easy. Batman! The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham, did you see her? They went... Interesting. Alright guys, we're going to end the episode right here, but stick around for the next episode, part 3 of episode 5, which is going to be the grand finale, so hope you guys uh, come back. Thanks for watching.